Israel launched an intense air and ground assault on the Gaza Strip early Friday, pounding targets with warplanes, artillery and tank fire in the largest single operation of a four-day conflict with Palestinian militants that had been waged by airstrikes from Israel and rockets from Gaza. An Israeli military spokesman, Lt. Col. Jonathan Conricus, said that the 40-minute assault targeted an underground network of tunnels used by Hamas militants to evade airstrikes and surveillance. Col. Conricus initially said that ground troops were attacking in Gaza, but he later clarified that Israeli troops had not entered the territory. Residents of Gaza reported a terrifying barrage of explosions that shook buildings across the densely populated territory, where many fled their homes for United Nations-run schools on Friday morning. The Israel military called it the largest focused operation against a focused target that we have conducted so far. The surge in fighting highlighted the unprecedented position Israel finds itself in, battling Palestinian militants on its southern flank as it seeks to head off its worst civil unrest in decades. It followed another day of clashes between Arab and Jewish mobs on the streets of Israeli cities, with the authorities calling up the army reserves and sending reinforcements of armed border police to the central city of Lod to try to head off what Israeli leaders have warned could become a civil war. Taken together, the two theaters of turmoil pointed to a step change in the grinding, decades-old conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. While violent escalations often follow a predictable trajectory, this latest bout, the worst in seven years, is rapidly evolving into a new kind of war, faster, more destructive and capable of spinning in unpredictable new directions. In Gaza, an impoverished coastal strip that was the crucible of a devastating seven-week war in 2014, Palestinian militants fired surprisingly large barrages of enhanced range rockets, some 1,803 days, that reached far into Israel. Israel intensified its campaign of relentless airstrikes against Hamas targets there on Thursday, pulverizing buildings, offices and homes in strikes that have killed 119 people including 31 children, according to the Gaza Health Authorities. Seven civilians and a soldier have been killed by Hamas rockets inside Israel. Egyptian mediators arrived in Israel Thursday in a sooner-than-usual push to halt the spiraling conflict. Most alarming for Israel, though, was the violent ferment on its own sidewalks and streets, where days of rioting by Jewish vigilantes and Arab mobs showed no sign of abating.